Hi, I'm Lisa and welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why Small Thoughts? Wow, because by allowing room for small thoughts, you're better able to have big thoughts and sometimes by having small thoughts, it better helps you to cope with the big thoughts that might come along and they often do. So, welcome to my puzzle room. Thank you for joining me, both new and old puzzle buddies. Thank you for coming here and welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my puzzle room, my puzzle corner, a place in my home D down in the basement where nobody can find me, that I can sit and do my puzzles and have some small thoughts. So please join me and we're well, going to talk today about a puzzle that I recently did that I love from bits and pieces called Inside Gnome Garden. But first, I'm just going to have a have a drink of my of my tea. Just here, you grab a drink too. Feel free. I'm just having a little bit of. Hang on. Mm, some uh, heavenly cream tea. It's a loose tea by Sloan that I love. Uh, so let's get right to it. This is bits and pieces. I've been doing a lot of bits and pieces puzzles recently. Um, this is called Inside Gnome Garden, and indeed it is inside a gnome garden. So it's, bits and pieces are known. Um, they've got very traditional uh, looking puzzles, but they're also known for their shaped puzzles. And what we mean by shaped puzzles, or what they mean by shaped puzzles, is you can see that this is not a square. The puzzle is this sort of gnome shaped piece and they've got ones all different kinds like uh, like that and typically there'll be a shape and then a little world going on underneath it all so in this case it's a really cute little garden gnome with all kinds of stuff going on around him and inside him so we've got beautiful hollyhocks and daisies and i think lilacs uh little rabbits and little toads. I find prerequisite toads. We don't have a sleeping dog, we'll have a toadstool. Um, butterflies and then inside you can see there's some kids. What are they doing? There also is a little garden within a garden, like a secret garden inside the gnome. So the images is, is interesting. Uh, very springy in summer and I found it quite fun to do once I start uh, to get going. My overall thoughts about shaped puzzles is they're kind of a nice break from having the square. Um, I think the difficulty was a bit more challenging you'd think because if you've got these irregular shapes that can throw you a little bit off. You do have a reference for the most part if they've got a, a border like a, like a white line or something around which was one does on some of it. Um, but I mean, nice, nice little challenge. I wouldn't say it was easy. I would say it was medium difficulty. It's 750 pieces so it's a nice size this fit perfectly on a piece. I actually did this uh, outside. Um, this fit perfectly on an 18 by 24 piece of foam core that you can pick up for like a dollar at any dollar store if you can. Um, so I, I think this is a great puzzle for someone. I wouldn't do this as a beginner puzzle, but it's a great puzzle to do uh, in an RV, outside, uh, in, at, when it's raining out, if you need a little bit of spring cheer. As far as the bits and pieces quality goes, they don't come with a, with a poster, which is fine. The puzzle box is small enough that you can hold up the puzzle for reference. The pieces with um, bits and pieces are a random cut, so they're the a little bit more interesting, just that standard grid cut. I'll see if I can give you an example here. Um, for example, like that kind of a cut versus just the standard square and also they're very very glossy um, which if you don't like glare not great but if you've got the kind of lighting where you can cut down in the glare or if you're outside and there's no direct sunlight it's perfect because like, it really makes the colors pop. I, I, one thing I love about bits and pieces is the pieces fit very tightly together. Very few false fits and this puzzle anyway um, almost no puzzle dust that I can recall and I'm not a big, oh, I would remember, there's a couple of Cobble Hill I've gotten recently that had a lot of puzzle dust. And um, when they're done, they're quite beautiful. The colors are vibrant. Some of the colors are, are on the digital side and not the, the hand-drawn or markers, but overall, a really cute, affordable, I think this was like $20, $20 puzzle, a great gift if you've got someone that likes garden gnomes like me and someone who needs a little bit of cheer. So... I hope you like uh, I like this 
like this little review of my bits and pieces inside gnome garden puzzle i'd love to know if you've been doing any kind of puzzles recently over the spring or if you have a spring puzzle you'd like to recommend so until then i'm lisa and i'm wishing you lots of small thoughts